Introductions are so weird. Like it makes me cringe every time I have to do one. That is why, you know, I just do whatever. I don't know what you want to call these things. Hey, so my name is Christina and unfortunately my husband Roy this guy right here, he is not here with us today, but that is okay. Cause like, I love him and I love him and we need him, but you know, I just had this great idea to make this video. So it's going to be really, really quick. We have a pure space booking today and I was just getting things together and I was just doing things and I was just all in my flow, you know, how it goes, you know what I'm saying? And just getting my mind right for today and really just help setting the atmosphere for the booking today. And I was like, wow, like these are some things that I can share with the people, right? Um, whether you're a host or maybe you're a potential person looking to book up your space, or maybe you're somebody who's just like, I don't know if I wanna do it. I don't know if I should, I don't know if I shouldn't. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and make a video of different tips and things that people can do to get ready for their peer space booking to give them that um, either wow factor or it's meeting their expectations. So I'm gonna just start inserting in different clips of me doing stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the windows. Every single time we have a booking, we open up all the windows. We make sure that that natural light is coming in because we want you to be like Shazam, pop, pop, Pam, you know, when people come in. So, and also we get a lot of bookings for photographers and videographers and media and productions. So it's really important that you have that kind of already available. And I also learned my lesson. Okay, someone broke my plant babies. I mean, I had this really big birds of paradise plant, right? Right? And I came back to check on things and it was broken and I seen it. It was because someone was trying to reach the window. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> We're not going to let this happen ever again. Let me just go ahead and open the window. So I opened up all the windows. Today is a beautiful nice day it's kind of have like that weird kind of gloomy filter but it's making this spot look real real good and also it's warm so i'm like you know what i just want that temperature to be amazing the wind is blowing and it's breezy and i believe it just works really good for our space you know it's very our space is very like earthy it's plant it's you know, that boho feel. So I just want all of it to just match the expectations of what they're walking in or, you know, just go beyond their expectations. Something else I'm gonna talk about is just providing water and setting up our welcome package basket setup area, okay? Um, we normally provide snacks and things like that, but we ran out, so we just have water for them today. And so that's what we have. We make sure that we always stock up on those items, on water. Uh, we also have our cleaning supplies. You know, we got the Lysol spray, we got the hand sanitizer, we got the wipes, we got everything. Cause we know like we live in a time where sanitation is very important. Well, it's always been very important, but people are like even overboard. So we wanted to respect people's, um, you know, concerns with that. So we were like, you know what? Let's just provide everything here. Let's just have like that little area for people, a little cleanup supply area, just in case somebody wants to spray, wipe down, whatever, you know, it just makes them feel better. Another thing that I do that I love doing is, what well, I'm just starting to do, honestly, is staging things. Like when people walk in, you first walk in and you see the living room space. I was like, oh my gosh, it'll be so wonderful to set up something really cute for them to be inspired by. Our whole thing with everything we do is we just want to create the platform and the space for people to just create whatever that looks like. Media productions, meetings, uh, special gatherings events. This is why we love peer space so much. Like we connect with them. We get it, peer space. We understand. We understand the assignment. We got you. So we have a strong passion of providing that environment for people. So when we want, Roy and I, when we want people to come in, we want people to be inspired. Oh, let's do this. Oh, let's do this. Oh, let's do this. Oh, let's do this. Because we, Roy and I, we are that person. So we understand what 
creative people and the creatives needs or wants or people who is looking to do something you know that will look amazing that will make their brand look amazing or their event look amazing or whatever they just want an amazing thing we get it and we want to provide that for the people so we make sure or i make sure that i have a little like set up stage coordination type thing for people to be like oh yo i'm about to dive straight up on in here Ooh. so that's what we did um and i don't know if i'm missing anything else oh yes our refrigerator so we actually found well roy found these cool refrigerator locks that are on amazon because again this is a space that we uh use and it's a home setting right so you know i was like you know like well, how are we gonna do about a refrigerator though like you know it's just weird it's just wide open and roy um found out that somebody had took this picture on facebook and was like my kids keep going in the refrigerator so i'm going to teach them a lesson no more midnight snacks buddy and we were like yo we need that so yes i'm going to have that in the description below again we lock up everything we put up everything that's personal and if people were just kind of nervous about it i mean honestly you can get the lock for a refrigerator i even thought about the lock for the cabinets and different things i mean you can use them wherever but i don't know it might look a little tacky and it might take away especially if somebody wants to use that kitchen area so i don't know maybe we can think of something else between me roy and all of you guys we know we can come up with something pretty creative and clever but anyways, I believe that that is it. And if that is not it, I'm going to take a minute to sit right here. And anyways, I'm going to take a minute to just insert any clips that I forgot about right up in here. Because, you know, I tend to do that sometimes. So I'm just going to put it here. All right, you guys, so that is it. That is all I got for you for right now. Later on, you're going to see the same shirt. You're going to see the same glasses, and you're going to see the same braids. But you're going to see the same braids anyways because, I mean, uh, if y'all don't know anything about black women, we're going to wear some braids, okay? We're going to wear that, okay? So, um, anyways, so, yes, this is all that we have for you or all that I have for you today right now with this video of tips of what to do in preparing for your booking and different things that you can do so that your booking can have that wow factor and to can set the tone for them to come in and just be great we want our peer space bookings to be great be great bro be great sis you know so yes anyways all right guys i will see y'all on the next video with this same shirt on bye oh wait i forgot to say like share no that's facebook i'm sorry <laughs> Subscribe and like and comment if this video or these videos or this channel is helping you, is inspiring you, is having you think, wait a minute, I can do this, or wait a minute, I know somebody who can do this, or this is good information to have. These comments and seeing like the subscribers change is very inspiring to us and it just lights our flame. So I just want to say thank you guys because I'm going to be honest, like I had no clue. Like I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do this. I don't know. Whoever listen, listen. Whoever don't, don't. You know, I'm just going to do it because I feel like that this can be a thing and I believe that we are the people to bring the thing into reality. So guys, anyways, I'll see y'all later. I'm so tired of saying guys. Somebody please help me find another word outside of guys. Please. I'm so tired of saying that. But anyways, all right. I will see you guys later on the next one. Bye. <laughs>